Alright guys, so in this video, we're going to be showcasing the new Kefla and Kel transformation. So if we do evolve this right here, we can evolve Kefla into Kefla Supa. We're not going to do that though. So we were lucky enough to get Kel in our fourth run. Oh, I got her! As you can see by that clip right there, we did get that. So we're going to evolve this into Legendary Kel. She got perfectly enough materials. I was trying to get enough of these, but I don't have 14. So one of my friends, my son right here, Kami RBLX, is going to help me with this. But here we go. Kel right here, evolve Legendary Kel like that. That is so shiny too. Oh my god, my eyes hurt. All right, so there we go. This is the Legendary Kel right here. Okay, it looks pretty cool. So it does actually have a blessing. So I already have a pretty cool combo on myself, but we're going to go ahead and test it out anyway. So let's take that off. Good blessing. Let's see what it's like. Okay. Wait, hold up. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wait, they cooked. No, I'm not going to lie. I think Luffy's gone. No, no, not Luffy. I think Vegeta's gone, actually, or Vegito. I forgot which one I used. That. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's gone. Kovi... Kov... I don't know. I give up. But here is the unit right here. We're going to go ahead and level her up. She is not that... Or she's only level 1 right now. We want to try to get her level 175. I honestly don't have the unit, though. Do I even... I don't have a singular... Yes, I do. So we're going to go ahead and evolve all of these so we can get some higher rarity ones so we can get a little more AXP. And hopefully... is hopefully we have a few battle pass tiers right here with uh, 6 stars in them. That'll be nice. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Let's just claim all these. Four, okay. So a 6 right there. Another 6. Then we can claim those. And so now we can feed all of these. We can get a decent level now. Level 50 right there. Damn. Look at the damage. It already almost doubled. We throw that on. And then the tradables I don't really want to get rid of. I would rather just keep them because they are really old. I got these when the game was relatively new. So this thing right here, I mean, it is a 5 star. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. We have some 5 stars right here. 62. I mean, level 62 isn't bad, but I think we just want to open a little bit. Try to get a few 6 stars. So we're gonna go ahead and feed all these. I wanted to get a really high level, like possibly max. So let's go over to summon. We're gonna go over to the six star summon right here so we can get a bunch of five stars. I'm going to spend a lot of gems right now. Probably all of them, to be honest. We need a lot of XP. This is not a very good way to get them, but it's gonna have to do. We ended up getting the six star right there. Okay, there we go. We only have 5,000 gems left. I don't want to spend all of them, so maybe we'll have to do with that. So feed. We have this guy right here. I don't know if he's good, but I honestly don't care too much. And then we have these guys right here. Level 100 would be pretty nice. Okay, there we go. We actually got a level 100. I want to get it as high as possible so I can showcase the maximum damage for it. I have seen a showcase for it from Day Day Kid already. If you guys do want to see his video, you can go ahead and check that out. It does so much damage, though. It's like such a good unit to have. I just need to get the Kefla Evo because now you have Kel's Evo because it is a fusion unit. You're going to need both of them. It's like Ida and Goku's fusion. But we're going to have to do with this level 101. That's not bad. And we're going to go ahead and bring Idol also. I do not have Yotch, so we cannot bring him or whatever you want to call it. But look at this aura. This looks absolutely insane. Let's go over to training. And also, this is the picture of the Kefla Supa and the Evo items you need for it. It's the same exact things. We also have my boy right here. He's going to help us with the Yuha Baha buff. So, Yuha Baha. I don't know. People call that that. That's what he calls it. But Yotch. You, we're going to use the Yotch buff, and then we're going to use his Kefla and my Kel. And we're going to get the best possible thing we can. It is only level 101, though. All right, so right when we get in, 500 to place as the leader. So we're going to place her right here. So she does look pretty cool. Look at her. Oh, my God. Got the same aura as me. We each one in for real. All right, so she does 12.6 thousand on placement, 57.8K. We can upgrade this a bit, 57 to 90K. Her first ability. So let's actually summon a few of these. We want to show off a few of the abilities, at least. So let's go with like that. All right, we don't have our effects on, actually. All right, there we go. Now we have our effects on. So she does 200. 90k so we want to upgrade it a little bit there we go why did it spawn so many of them i did not do that all right but kel's first ability her placement ability this is it right here okay damn okay so next ability her first actual ability 290k to 941k cooldown goes from 5.3 seconds to 7 and range goes from 40 to 8 plus hybrid so but oh my god look at that aoe circle right there oh my god that is absolutely massive this is the next ability it's like frieza supernova but it's just green that's really cool and it has a massive circle aoe next upgrade 575k we go from 941 to 2.09 million okay so kel or kefla they are not that great alone but with the fusion they are one of the best if not the best unit currently in the game it's at least top two i don't think it's better than goku to be honest because of his nuke but next ability or next upgrade 2.09 mil to 4.18 and we go from 80 to 100 range boom so that is maxed out and it is also full aoe i actually do want to see this attack right here Wait, is it no it's not full aoe it's just the, the ability is just so bright i can't see the aoe type so now we have maxed out ours and now it is buffed doing 16.7 million damage with a 120 range 7 spa this unit is absolutely broken it's only level 100 mind that it's only level 100 
I mean, it would probably be doing like 40 million if it was level 175, which is actually pretty good. Okay, so we figured out he did his showcase first. So you figured out whoever places it first basically loses their unit. The other guy takes it. So his is right here. And now that I place mine, it's going to fuse with mine right here, as you can see. And now we just upgrade it. So, so it's already one unit. So I already took over his unit, as you can see. First ability right here, they both. So it's both of them. That's actually pretty cool. We one tapped them. We need to increase the HP a little bit. Okay, so let's see the ability once more. So he has two mil, doesn't say 800k. Okay, whatever. Well, this is the first ability. Oh no. Oh yeah, we're cooked. That's pretty cool. We're gonna upgrade it a little bit though. 21.6k to 259k. Boom. And here we are is a next ability. 259k to 1.09 million. Attack goes from five seconds to nine, 50 to 60 range, plus sibling destruction. And if you guys do not know, there's actually two. And there is another ability on top of this. Look how massive that circle AoE is. Let's see that. It is a nine second AoE. Oh my god. Damn. Oh my god. That's like the supernova but on ground. Next we have earring fusion. So there actually is a second fusion if you guys did not know. And now we're doing 2.49 million damage. Just to let you guys do know that the unit could be doing two times more damage than this if it was completely maxed out level wise. Earring fusion. And this is with no ore by the way. And as you can see they just fused into one person. Now we can see she has like the ultra instinct aura. I'm not gonna lie. Um, not really what you see in the anime but we're gonna go ahead and use this. He did not buff that by the way. That was not buff. So on placement no buff. 2.6 six million damage every four seconds so let's go ahead and spawn one of these guys right here do that so let's see that one more time Ooh. so you just teleports on him throws down a few arrows on him i don't really know next upgrade 2.66 million to 5.82 million there's four upgrades by the way this is the next one a next ability so 5.82 million to 14.8 million you actually get damage per wave this is why i was saying earlier it could possibly be the best unit in the game damage wise it is right around goku's maxed out and then this spa goes from four seconds to 5.5 plus peppermint splash 8.1 million it is really expensive so this is the next ability okay that's actually not bad it's not bad so let's increase the hp a little bit to like that and it's next attack it is air by the way so it already hits air it is raging and it's nature element so it was already dealing 2 million plus damage per wave we're actually going to test this out in an infinite a little later into the video the next one 4 million and then this is with no buff by the way no buff this is absolutely insane and you can see it's range right here it has 130 range which is not bad whatsoever 29.7 million to 50.3 million range 100 to 130 and plus furious fusion beam which i want to increase this by a lot spawn and boom 50 million damage it is a cone aoe these things have oh my god 400 million hp oh my god look at that attack and it's even double Look at that. It's like a double blast. Right, it's actually triple. Absolutely cooking her. But this is maxed out and we gain 2 million damage per wave. And now we just need to go ahead and buff. She is currently doing 201 million damage. It is Yacht buff too. So she probably has like 160 range. You can't really tell because it changed it with the damage per wave. But 201 million damage. It can do double this damage. It's maxed out at like 360 million damage. Almost double. And every 5.5 seconds. Goku. Compared to Goku, Goku does like 370 million while buff, which is pretty good. It's around the same, but its SPA is a lot higher. It really just depends if you can place multiple of her if you can then it's definitely the best unit in the game it is the legendary super saiyan race that's why it's really strong to begin with i wasn't expecting them to make it stronger than broly though but yeah this unit is absolutely op so we're gonna go ahead and hop in an infinite see if we can place multiple of them and see how far we can get our units aren't the best but they are pretty good okay so this is actually op so she buffs 15 percent attack buff to siblings and i actually do bring my luffy most of the time i do runs he's actually in the siblings so we can equip this and get a 15 percent buff on our luffy other siblings we could also equip freezer for it too he is also in the siblings we're not bringing him though we're bringing my boy gojo uh, it's not really doing much and then we're gonna go ahead and bring we should probably bring three farms considering how expensive they are they are all really expensive units octo and then we're gonna bring idle all three of our farms we're probably gonna need all of them because she is really really expensive and she is not sellable if you guys did not notice she is not sellable and i want to come up with a pretty cool combo with it but we're gonna go ahead and throw a better orb on her so let's take all the orbs off my units all right so we're gonna throw the ultra magic orb on khalifa and then we're gonna go ahead and use what should i put on my i'm probably just gonna put on the Prayaya Orb on my Luffy. That will probably be the best for him. It reduces cost, does more damage, gives more range. So it is still pretty good to use. And for my Gojo, I'm only using the Range Orb on him, so I might as well just throw on the Super Bull Eye Orb on my Gojo, give him more range for time stopping, stuff like that. And yeah, that's basically going to be the team for it. It's not too great. It's not bad though. All right, let's see how many we can place now. So Michael, I can place down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he can also place eight. Wait, okay, but can we fusion eight though is the question wait no it was, oh no me and you can get one that's why oh yeah me and you have a fusion right now we can't sell it though oh gg um this is a pretty awkward placement it should be fine though because i do have i do have the magic orb on and then he has yuhaba never mind he left the game
Next ability, we get what? Peppermint Splash. Boom. Damn, look at that. Plus 2 million damage? Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. All right, there we go. Maxed out Khalifu. There we go. 308 million damage. It's not even fully buffed. Hold up. Waiting for that new buff. 386 million damage every 5.5 seconds. Look at this. This is like perfect spawn. Oh my god. What is this perfect map? What's his range? It doesn't tell me. Oh my god. Wait, this is perfect. Oh my god. All right, now that we max it out, let's see how far we can get. It's gonna get 2 million more damage every wave too. Wait, plus that it's a buff. We're getting like how much? 6 million every wave? Oh yeah, it's so like 410 million damage. Yeah, you're getting like 6 million damage per wave. I don't even know. Probably more than that. All right, let's go with one more. There we go. Okay, so like they have to not be time stop or they don't teleport back. These things have 100 billion HP back there. So that did not work whatsoever. Did not work how I wanted it to at least. And we, oh wait, we didn't max out our Luffy. Oh, wait, that's not good. We just need one more wave, it's fine. If we can even get to that. Okay, there we go. We didn't even max out the Luffy, I didn't realize. Wait, I think I have cutscenes on. Oh wait, I did that too early. Oh my God. Okay, well we kind of messed up right there because we had cutscenes on, I kind of just did it in a hurry. Well, we did make it to like 120. I guess it's just about the best we're getting. So me and Gameo brought our actual best units. But this guy, he just brought like basically troll units. I don't know. I mean, we're all tired. It's 5 a.m. right now. 6. Oh my shit. It's almost 7. Okay. But yeah, we're going to end it off with that. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Really do appreciate it. Peace out, guys.